Well, what do you want to do? Okay. I know, but I got to do my devotional. Hey everybody, good to be with you guys today. Welcome to the Tuesday devotional for the River Online and the River at Eureka. If I have not had the opportunity of meeting you yet, it's, my name is David. Uh, good to be with you guys. I bring your Tuesday devotionals. Uh, hope you enjoyed the nice weather. I know it's cold again-ish, but uh, we got a little spoiled there with the beautiful weather, but it'll be back soon enough. Uh, I wanted to uh, run this devotional about, uh, see we all have identifiers, right? If you know me at all, you know I'm a big football fan, big Steelers fan, you've got your things, I got my things, we all have these things in our life that kind of identify us or that people know us by, and one of the things with me, if you know me very well at all, you know, is this guy. Uh, that's Reagan, uh, he is... Um, he is my buddy, he's my shadow, we're always together, and um, while I respect um, people that aren't into dogs, I gotta tell you, I don't understand you. Uh, there's not a whole lot better than a dog. Um, sounds a little sacrilegious, and I say it half tongue-in-cheek. Uh, we are supposedly made, supposed to be made in, in God's image, according to the Bible, and I believe that, but uh, man, I tell you, you hang around one of these guys very long, I think they got us beat by a mile, don't they? All you have to do is watch the news and um, see what humans are like, and then hang around one of these guys for 15 minutes, and you'll see uh, see what they're like. So I wanted to talk about him today. Um, yeah, there's some things about a good dog or a dog that I think uh, really should teach us a lot of lessons on how to act, a lot of lessons on, on on how to treat each other, a lot of lessons on how to be a little bit more like God which I think is our job. I think that's our goal, right? Is to every day try to improve ourselves, be better, uh, be more Christ-like. And, um, and I think that while we might never win that battle, it, it's the effort that matters. It's the, it's the trying that matters, right? Um, I ran a devotional several years ago about this guy. He actually got hit by a car, shattered his leg. Um, I picked him up and uh, Jenny pulled the truck up and I get in the back of the truck and I'm holding him and um, his leg is just mangled and it's hanging in my hand and there's blood all over him and me and all he wanted to do was lick my face and if you have a dog you know what I'm talking about right he cared much more about how I was feeling and a lot less about how he was feeling now in a world of selfish people you can uh, only imagine how the world would be if we put others before ourselves if somebody else's discomfort and pain hurt more than our own discomfort and pain. So I got this idea yesterday. I was uh, running the message yesterday at church, and we did, or the day before yesterday, and we did that with a prodigal son. And um, if you don't know the story, the, the son leaves, and he commits a, a, a number of different things that were pretty bad. He, he really took advantage of his dad. He uh, made a lot of big mistakes, committed a lot of sins, and really found himself in deep trouble. And so he came home, right? And he expected his dad to be really upset with him because he wasn't as perfect as his older brother. He um, he'd done a lot of things that he was probably not very proud of, and he was uh, expecting to really have to deal with a lot of trouble when he got back. And um, and when he got back, his father welcomed him with open arms, and not only welcomed him, now obviously the dad in the parable represents God, was running towards him despite his warts, despite what he had done that was wrong. So in keeping in the metaphor, and this is where I got the ideas, I wanted to test our theory with, with this guy because um, obviously I've been talking about that uh, if we could all be more like dogs, we'd be probably a little bit more like God, right? So let's look at this. Are you a stick? And we'll use this stick. Um, pretty gnarly, mangly looking, nasty stick. Looks like it's had a pretty rough life. Or are you a... Oh, this really awesome tennis ball who it looks like it's had a pretty privileged life right so let's see what our guy does if we take our awesome did everything right never made any mistakes tennis ball and we throw it he doesn't care how cold the water is well, he must really like that tennis ball so clearly it's because the tennis ball is a toy and it's a bright color and it's something that obviously attracts his eye and so he feels the need to retrieve it because it's just so cool and it's so shiny and it's so wonderful he probably doesn't want anything to do with his nasty gnarly looking stick right all right so he'll probably just let this float away so let's let's look all right Reagan. So I guess 
it didn't matter how nice and shiny and pretty and bright the tennis ball looked, right? Like God, he wanted to retrieve it. Like God wants to retrieve us. And while we might make our mistakes and we might have done a lot of things that we're not very proud of and we might even be doing them right now. And maybe there's things that you're doing just today and decisions that you're making today that you're, you know, deep down inside you shouldn't be making. And while it's kind of a goofy point with my golden retriever, I think that the, the, the logic is sound, right? That you've given us, and while we continue to, to try to ruin them, uh, you gave them to us. And, and Lord, help us to open our eyes and see around us the different things that we can use as an example of your love. And God, we ask that you give us a great rest of our day. We love you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.